welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the sun moon and rising sign of the Tauruses I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back um, thank you for this um, <clears throat> wonderful support um, it is um, the um, first week of February I want to say to each and every person um, uh, it is the week of the tower and um, the energy of the zodiac energy of air. Thank you for your supports and your likes and shares. And um, let's look and see what the week has for you, Tauruses. So let's call upon the guiding angels of the Tauruses to come in and show us the message. Okay. So. For the Tauruses, you have the Ten of Wands in reverse, which is good. Wonderful positive energies. This is saying that all your burden situations that you have been going through is now in um, the reverse form because um, the Tower is bringing down things that no longer serve you. On Tuesday, you have the Three of Wands, so you're leaving that burden behind and you're moving forward. To something that is much better and much positive then we have the six of um, the six of, of ones and it is in the reverse form so that's going to be the energy vibration um, for um, the um, center of your week because there's a lot of one energies and you have the six of swords so you have ended the journey you have the ace of swords which is just so wonderful for Thursday so you have two ones two fire signs and it's a fire week and um, you have victoriously come through whatever situations that was happening so on Thursday it's going to be a wonderful victory and success um, to whatever situation that was playing out as we move forward you have the king of chalice um, the king and queen of chalice or a king of chalice is here and then you have the energy of the Sun which is good for you Tauruses and then you have the energy of the ace of Pentacles so this is absolutely wonderful for you Tauruses so let's see um, <clears throat> what is happening you have the energy of the two of cups so this is wonderful for you Tauruses because whatever situation that you had to deal with um, whatever situation that you had to deal with um, basically what is going to happen is in business let's say that you had um, a situation you have your own business and there was a um, um, you know sort of deceptive situation that is going on it is finally now going to come to an end and you are going to be um, moving forward with um, wonderful positive energies um, as we look there's a lot of victory and success there is um, whatever the situation was of burden was you're leaving that behind with the king of cups okay you're leaving that behind with the king of cups and then there is a situation that you're leaving something behind the energy of the Sun comes out which is just so wonderful on Saturday um, the energy of the Sun comes out on Saturday which is just so beautiful and then on Sunday you have the energy of the ace of Pentacles so um, this is going to be very wonderful very very um, good as we move forward we're going to look and see what's adjoining and what we can see is happening is that the princess of swords is in reverse so for you Tauruses who have had a situation with someone between the ages of 25 and 45 and is an Aquarius um, um, a Gemini or a Libran that person is now in a reverse she has no rain no more for you as we move forward that was an um, a karmatic situation the six of cups is always a situation where it's things that is karmatic that is happening the people that you're dealing with with um, a situation um, so it's, um, 
um, like um, because what was happening you're leaving your burden behind because this princess of swords has cost you a lot of burdens and you know the the, the six of cups is always um, some people say childhood memories but it is more of a um, a past life relationships and situations that you have to deal with people most of the time is family members and sometimes it is just um, people from um, your past life um, it has now come to an end and the energy of the Sun comes out so that is a wonderful romance and this is good so whatever the romance is romance is going to be two of cups and you have also the two of cups as your energy vibration reading so this is positive in love and work in this week it's going to be a wonderful positive situation whatever the situation is and whatever as transpire at your work it has to do with this prince uh, this princess of hair and she is as I said between the ages of 25 and 45 and somehow she has lied or tried to stop you from moving forward and that sort of a thing and here you see that this situation has now been moved away whenever we look at the energy of uh, a new beginning is coming in and you have um, the ace of pentacles and the ace of swords which is ace of pentacles is always a new beginning in your materialistic world and the ace of swords is always a victory and a success of the diversity of their things and you use your intellectual and your truth to cut through certain things and it has come out very very wonderful as we look at the burden and what you're moving away from is that it was a lesson it was a, a karmatic lesson that came back in this lifetime and this has to do with your work situation whatever that has transpired at your work with this lady it was a karmatic situation it was something that you had to heal um, from a past lifetime okay as we look at you leaving something behind and it's the end of a situation it's the end of conflicts whatever the conflicts was it is now the end of conflicts this conflicts has been uh, yielded and is ended so call upon so we can all call upon the angels of karma to come in and heal whatever kar um, karmatic situations that you had with other people in your life in lifetimes and lifetime before which you're learning this lesson from ask them to heal the conflict as we move forward an end to a situation transformation and you have the six of ones you bring there is an end debt and transformation there is an end to whatever situation that had um, taken place so this is a very good and very positive as we move forward and we're looking at the king of cups the energy of the king of cups um, he feels as if there is a failure um, it is a seven of one so it is not really a failure it is you know trying to work on certain things in certain aspect and these are good however way he will look at it it is a good thing because um, whoever and whatever lesson that it was there to be learned it has been learned now as we move forward and we look at the Sun and the ace of Pentacles you're finally seeing that whatever that has transpired it is going to be okay and it's going to be good because um, the energies are changing especially in relationships um, in all your relationship there is a transformation and these transformation are very good whatever the situation that the conflicts that was there the conflicts these conflicts are ended now and now the there is a new um, beginning that is coming up and new wonderful um, situation that is happening as we look at the energy of a romance um, it, 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 it is not only romance but it is a sense of connecting with each other and having 
positive situation and positive understanding with each other and this is going to open up doors of opportunities for the people who are partnered up whether in business or whether in a lifelong relationship there is going to be healing that is coming in because as we look at your week um, your week has a lot of karmatic situation that is going on because of the energies of uh, there's a lot of karmatic situation happening because of the energies of the debt and this is um this is good because it was a lesson that you needed to learn um about this princess of swords um you brought back information um um, in life about this this queen uh, the person who has um, conjured up all of this situation it is the night the king of um, wands this king of wands is really um, as he is in the reverse is really an unbalanced person okay king of wands is someone over the the age of 40 and is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius okay so for some people it's going to be Aries for some people it's going to be a Libra uh, and no as for some people it's going to be a Leo and some people it's going to be a Sagittarius good that um, I see that the number two energy is going to play a vital role so um, you Tauruses have to expect dualities coming in you know it is a form of dualities that are coming in so here you have to really really um, realize this energy that is happening for you guys so um, as I look at this week it is really a week of uh, things happening at work which is karmatic situation that is happening at work for you and uh, um, what is transpiring is um, basically that it is the end of a karmatic situation that came out in this um, a lifetime and with another lifetime so here you are and here you're seeing these energies that are transpiring the ten of cups um, um, your life your family life is going to be good it's going to be perfect and it's going to be wonderful so you know the changes and the changes that are coming in is going to be good the other energy that you have is disponent disponent uh, the energy of disponent is always trying um, to you know find yourself in all the chaos that is happening it's uh, it's as if um, you have lost sight of certain things and um, even um, you know out of balance uh, and now you're trying to find balance with you uh, within you and that was in the past as we look at the future you have impatient so some of you will be very impatient with um, the situations that are happening in your life but not to worry because what is transpiring and what is happening it is going to be that um, the impatient is going to be realized and uh, um, you are going to learn um, patient that everything comes in divine timing okay so here we are um, here we are and here we're looking at things and we're understanding um, how a certain situations is going to happen in this week and I want to say um, have a wonderful week please like share these videos namaste till next time